Welcome to the celebration of love, trust, and commitment between Fred and Brittany. Today, you not only pledge your love and commitment to each other, you also pledge it to our Savior, Jesus Christ. A close relationship is based on friendship. A caring relationship is based on sharing and understanding. A romantic relationship is based on giving freely and on the ability to receive gratefully and graciously. An intimate relationship is based on openness and honesty. An affectionate relationship is based on patience and acceptance. A secure relationship is based not on promises, but rather on trust, respect, faithfulness, and the ability to forgive. A lasting marriage is based on all these, bound together by love. two years old and we've been inseparable ever since. Brittany, <laughs> I've never met a person like you, Britt. You're the most compassionate, caring, selfless person I've ever met and you truly make the people around you better. From the time we met until this day, there's nobody who knows and understands me like you do. I seriously don't know what in the world I would do without you and I love you like a sister. Well, Fred, I don't know how you did it, man. You got lucky again. You found the perfect girl for you. Brittany is the perfect girl for my brother. She's felt like a sister to me ever since the day I met her. She has somehow kept my brother in line where those couldn't. And she was there to help my brother get through rigorous at dental school. I really do think you're at where you are today because of her. She, uh, she's one of the kindest people I know and is always willing to help in any way she can. She was always the first person to get you a gift uh, for a big event in your life. She's a perfect compliment to you, man. And I think I can speak for my entire family when I say that we are very excited to officially welcome her as a Benson Hafer and cannot wait for all the fun experiences that await us as a larger family. Dear Britt, we're getting married today. Woo! Today I've become the luckiest guy in the world. <laughs> because from now on I get to call you my wife. We've been looking forward to this day for 15 months and it's finally here. The journey and roads along the way were worth it all because they led me to you. I can't wait to continue this awesome life we have together. <sighs> and I'm so excited for what the future has in store for us. Our lives are truly just beginning because we will start some awesome memories in the years to come. Dear Fred, I can't believe it's finally wedding day. Six years ago, I never imagined that boy I met in a bar would one day be my husband. Thank you for making me laugh every single day, for pushing me out of my comfort zone for believing in me always, and most of all, for loving me for exactly who I am. I love your corny dad jokes, your loud, boisterous laugh, your drive to succeed, the way you obsess over our Ollie puppy as much as I do in your good, genuine heart. I promise to never give up on us, no matter the challenges we face. I vow to be your best friend forever, your confidant, your biggest cheerleader, and the one who will always laugh at your jokes. I will be beside you, rooting for you, through every obstacle and every stage of life. I love you so much, babe. I'll meet you at the altar. Let's do the damn thing. Your almost wife, Brittany. makes the world go round. Of course, in our world today, we need more love. So it's great that your love is going to be showing the way to other people, and that's very, very important. In our first reading, it talks about love, and that's something you need to keep in mind. You have to be forgiving. You have to be patient with one another. And most important is you have to communicate. Don't let things boil up inside of you. Talk about things, but more than talk, communicate about things. Fred, take you, Brittany. And I love you. 
So my lawful wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. For richer. For poor. For poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Hey, Brittany, take your friend. My lawful husband. For my lawful husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better. For better. For worse. For worse. For richer. <laughs> For richer. For poor. <laughs> For poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. Is it? Almost made it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so close. You can go. Brittany. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Get on. Get. Fred. Take this ring. Take this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And fidelity. And fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. By the power of Jesus Christ in the state of Florida, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife, kiss your bride. Cool. I'd like to start by saying that I truly never thought this day would come. Not because I thought there was no girl good enough out there for my dear older brother, but because I strongly believe that there wasn't any girl out there that would be able to put up with this shit all the time. <laughs> but the day is here, and it's been nothing short of perfect. Watching two of you grow together over the last five, six years has been awesome. Britt, your kindness, generosity, and sense of humor are infectious. We're not an easy family to walk into by any means, we are all ecstatic to now have you as a part of it. family uh, has always said that he needs a very, and I'm going to emphasize very, special lady to marry him one day. He would need someone to laugh a lot with him. As you can tell I me, mean, you can't see him now, but he's laughing right now. Someone that is able to uh, pretty much have fun with him wherever he goes. From our first Thanksgiving together, I knew you were a good fit. You really, but you really hooked me when I came to visit you and Brittany in Tampa and you bought me that huge bag of candy. I was like, this guy gets it. 